Remember Back to the Future 2, back when Marty wanted to buy the Gray Sports Almanac so he could win a few bets and make some money, and then Doc publicly chastised him for using the time machine for personal gain? You want to know what that fucker does in Back to the Future 3? Builds a gigantic refrigerator in his fucking blacksmith shop. Do you understand the economic ramifications for inventing a refrigerator in 1885 when the first electric refrigerator wasn't available until 1913? This goes beyond personal gain. Doc invented a machine that creates ice in the middle of the desert. This is bona fide world changing shit here and this is not something that you can sweep under the rug. I have absolutely no idea how Doc is going to dismantle this ice machine Machine, impregnate Clara Clayton twice, make constant trips to the Eastwood Ravine, pick up the broken locomotive parts, haul them back to his shop, rebuild a new time machine that operates entirely on steam, and keeping said construction a secret when you've got a three-year-old and a five-year-old running around because we all know how great those fuckers are at keeping secrets. And this is also keeping in mind that Doc is going to need at least two different forms of funding just for the build alone. He's going to need $1885 to rebuild the locomotive, and $2,000 $2015 to retrofit it with flying jets. That's a boatload of money for the monstrosity, and no bank is gonna sign off on a loan for it. That means he's gonna have to fucking rob a goddamn bank, as well as figure out a way to take this train, send it back to 2015, retrofit it with flying jets so he could turn around and then fly back to 1985 and give Marty his souvenir. There was something else. Uh, what was it? God, I can't remember. Oh yeah, that's right. Rebuilding the butt-fucking flux capacitor using nothing but parts found only in 1885. Yeah, good luck with that one, Doc. I'm sorry, I'm calling temporal bullshit right there. That ice machine, that's getting out. That's canon. That got into the hands of a robber baron who ended up opening up a factory for pennies on the dollar and started building industrial ice machines using slave labor in the late 19th century. Men and boys are going to be working around the clock to build these contraptions for rich folks. And those guys, oh, they're getting maimed. They're getting killed. Children are going to fall into those goddamn damn vats of molten metal. Men are gonna have their hands crushed trying to move these things into horse carts. And that doesn't even count all the people who are gonna die from the sickness caused by their cuts and bruises getting infected by the unsanitary conditions in that factory. And that's gonna cause more damage than any almanac bet made by Marty. Why don't you think about that while you're flying around in your flying locomotive time machine? Oh yeah, by the way, the last time you did that, Biff Tin and ended up taking over the world. But I guess you don't fucking care because you already got yours, huh? All because you wanted some goddamned iced tea. You truly are a collie molester. Go fuck yourself, Dr. Emmett L. Brown.